I've got a mate who wants to go vegetarian. Do you think that's a good idea or not? No. Why is that, you think? I like my meat, I do. Yeah. What, what, what do you think would happen to my friend if he went vegetarian? Oh, I'd not eat meat ever again. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think? You need protein or something like yes. that? Yes, yes we do, yeah. You need to eat meat for protein? Yeah. So if you went vegetarian, you wouldn't get enough protein? No. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's probably the best reason to eat meat, protein, you think? Yes. Do you think it's healthy though, vegetarian? Like better for your heart and stuff or? Oh yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I guess probably might be, yeah. yeah. I think it is, I think it is. All right, have a good one, oh, mate. Yeah, you too. Take care, thanks. Be good. It's all about eating, it's not about eating farm factory animals and stuff like that, it's about eating animals that are local to your area, that have been eating, been, people have been eating for a long time, you don't want to be eating hybrid animals, so what we've got here, we've got a little fox, so uh, intestines are good, so I mean, fox is a great source of protein, it's uh, you know, it's, it's really good for you, it's great, what I'm going to make tonight is I'm going to make a fox curry, i got this one off a... Uh, the Jamie cooking chef guy. So it's a fox curry. It's very delicate to the palate, and it's a rich source of calcium, zinc, protein, and vitamin B12, which is very important for cellular regeneration. So thanks for watching. Come back later, and we'll get in the kitchen and get going, hey? People ask me, Harley, what is the difference between a paleo diet, a primal diet, and a sad diet, a standard Australian, standard American diet? What's the difference? <laughs> Well, the main difference I've observed over the years is that if you're on a paleo or primal diet, you buy the protein powders and vitamin supplements that your primal paleo guru sells you. And that's the main difference between primal, paleo, and sad, is that if you're on sad, you don't normally have the protein powders and vitamin supplements from the paleo primal gurus. So that's the main difference. You might a paleo and primal people might go onto websites and participate in paleo primal forums. They might go to like little conferences and wear t-shirts by Mark Sisson, things like that. They might wear vibrant five fingers while they go to McDonald's or the steakhouse. <laughs> this sort of fucking, I mean, these guys, these paleo primal gurus, these hucksters have done such a good marketing job. They basically tell overweight, out of shape people good things about their bad habits and say if you sprint on the beach 10 seconds a week and then just go and eat as much meat as you want then that's going to be good for your health uh, stay away from bananas organic bananas are really bad so they create, create this sort of low level orthorexia mindset which just hooks people in and they think and then they say bacon eggs is good like Sean Croxton that wears a bacon eggs t-shirt it's like fuck man these guys are smart man they've got a marketing down pat and America and Australia and Europe were full of dumb people who want to hear good things about their bad habits. So I, I can't really blame these these uh, paleo primal huckster dudes for taking advantage of the situation because man, there's a lot of money to be made on ignorant people who want to drink and smoke and eat bacon eggs for breakfast and uh, get told that that's a good thing to do and drinking coffee and stuff like that and get told that's a good thing to do. Incredible. So that's the difference between Palo Primal and SAD is that Palo and Primal crew do the supplements and the protein powders and where the vibe and five fingers. They still might still smoke or drink or have lots of coffee and eat shit and go to the steakhouse. That's the only real difference.